Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at if statement. We have seen and used the if statement in structured English before. So basically, it looks like this. First of all, you have a keyword if followed by a condition. So within this condition, you want the following code to be executed. And then you have another condition start with elif, which is a short term for else if. You can have as many elifs as you want with different conditions. And then the last one will be else. So else doesn't need to follow by any conditions because else means for the rest of the conditions. However, if you have only two conditions, you can just write if and else instead. Now let's have a look at an example. So prompt user to input their age. If the age is under 18, display you still a child. If the age is over 18, display you are an adult. So in this question, first of all, we need to create a variable to hold the age, which is going to be the user input. And then we compare the age with different ranges and then display different messages. So what do we do? First of all, we create a variable. I will name it as age equals to int because the user input is the age is going to be an integer, a number. And then input. Sorry for being rude, but how old are you? And then we are going to compare this number in different ranges. So we're going to use if statement. So if age smaller than 18 and age has to be um, bigger, greater than or equal to zero, print You are still a child. Aleph, oops, age greater than or equal to 18, and age, let's say, smaller than and equal to 150. That will be probably the longest. Um, age, then print, you are an adult. Now let's have a look at our program. So we say if the age is between 0 to 18, under 18, then you say you're a child. If the age is bigger or equal to 18 and smaller than 150, then we say you're an adult. Is there any other situations? What if the user put in a negative number or a very big number, for example, a thousand years old, which wouldn't make any sense? What if that happens? So we put all of that in else condition. So we just write else, which means anything else. Then we print the number you put in is not valid. This time it should cover everything. As you can see, I've run a couple of times on this side and it works. Now, this is a task for you. So, good luck. See ya.